go. Come on, something, come on. Swing and a miss. There's a lot of fun. Don't throw it. Wow. 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 Unbelievable. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Another new broadcast of the XBL, the Cross Platform Baseball League. This time it is the continuation of the XBL Triple A semifinals between Oxbox and Fireball Max. Once again, I'm Weaver for Prez. Once again, joined by Dwayne. Dwayne, it's been a crazy night. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, what are we going to see here in games three and four? Is it, games one and two were just nuts. Yeah, a crazy first two games. Games three and four are scheduled here tonight. Needed. Games one and two were uh, on tape delay. They played last night. Uh, games three and four here tonight are live. So we were on tape delay. Now we're live. Uh, nobody, not even the players this time are going to know. They're not going to be in chat or anything. They don't know what's going to happen. And neither do we. So uh, with that being said, we're going to keep pregame short regardless. Uh, the, if the first two games are a barometer, for these next two, uh, we're going to need all our time and all our energy. So without further ado, we're going to take a quick pause. Go tell them we're good to go. We'll jump into game three. Stick around.
El Viejo, we return. It's game three. It's a beautiful day. The baseball here in Cuba. The holograms looking to jump out to, uh, two to one in the series, as are the Miami Knights. Looks like we have the old fashioned uh, console uniform glitch uh, that says myth, but as we all know, it's really the Miami Knights, and that's a shame because his color scheme is beautiful. Yeah, it's weird when that occurs. It's a shame that does happen, but. Either way, we're going to get some good quality baseball with these two on 83 Ego. Uh, maybe in game four, it'll straighten itself out. For now, I'm ready to see some game three. I'm ready to see the continuation of this one. It was epic in the first two games. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be nothing short of epic again in, the, in these following pair. I think someone really wants to win both of these games tonight. We'll see if either team's able to do it. Yeah, it could put themselves in a huge position, a huge stranglehold. But it'll start with game three as soon as they load in here. Here they go. Bobby Bonilla getting the start for the holograms, facing Wilkinson on the side of the Miami Knights. Again, not the myth. It's a mute uh, for focus. And here come... Oh, all the names are different. Oh, that's, that's a shame. So the left fielder, Bozak... Flash, Bozak. <laughs> yeah, so they're all living double lives out there. Here's Pickles, Nick Pickles. Yeah, we got some good names nonetheless. Yeah, still fun to call. Bobby Benilla on the hill for uh, the holograms getting the home start. This is going to be a one out single out to Nadal. Played it on a hop, so Fireball Max not missing a beat. Racking up singles and doubles all night. This has been an offensive showing. Again, series is tied at one. Left side through the infield. Oxbox can't make the play. That was the uh, center fielder stand in uh, for Grimes. Now, long bottom, this is the stand in for Kobe Special, their RBI man. Had a great game in game number two. Had a two-run homer on that exact same pitch. Or three-run homer, rather. Dad Slush gets it in. Base is loaded. One down for Leg Strong. That's quickly a lot of danger on the bases uh, for Max. We'll see if he's able to capitalize with it. Ox could get out of this jam if he can find a ground ball. He's got to be very uh, selective about where he leaves his pitchers here. Shatters his bat. Bonilla doesn't bobble it, and that enables a double play. He'll get out of it himself. That ends the first. Great turn there, breaking the bat. You know, you love to shear him off and get an easy double play, especially when you could just erase the, the thought of the run at home there. Uh, nice turn from Ox. Gets him right out of it, and now he's got himself a chance to bat after uh, getting out of a jam. Two quick strikes on Schlongberry. Colby Wilkinson has low velocity. That's the first we've seen uh, of that variety in the starting rotation for the, for the Miami Knights. It's going to get a curveball plopped in there for out number one. Check swing for Mox. He couldn't pull the trigger. Perhaps the stick not doing him a favor there. Trying to go through the right side. Stopped by leg strong. Two down. Holographic Charizard now. Looking for that first long ball of the playoffs. That's outside. A 1-1 one, one count now. Ball Out of the hand of Wilkinson misses, so the count now in favor of Holographic Charizard. Fights off a, uh, a curveball high in the zone. Went with the contact swing there. Chases after the changeup. Low in the zone. Washington... Makes the play. So three outs in the bottom of the first. One, two, three, they go. The offense for the... Uh, I'm sorry, I keep getting confused because it just doesn't say the right thing. But the Miami Knights, the offense for the Miami Knights back out there after they threatened seriously in inning number one. Yeah, decent part of the order still. He's got his lineup stacked well, this Fireball Max, so... Uh, Ox does have to navigate carefully. Ox, it seems to be that in the first few games that we've seen so far, Max has a propensity for getting uh, these leadoff runners on base. 
Swing and a miss, 99 miles per hour. It's one of the harder pitches we've seen from a hologram starter. Bobby Bonilla, he's got ace stuff here, pitching in game three. Seems like Oxbox wanted to fire the low velocity bullet earlier in the series rather than later. That's, of course, was Hannah Pog's wind. Can't get him to chase a low fastball. So Zimmerman, the whiffer. And the RBI dud as well. Going to see a cutter that he takes for ball three. Or she does, rather. Now a fastball from Bonilla. Hard contact. Schlongberry makes the play. Hard liner. It's always, you know, you always feel the danger in those. So obviously again needing to tighten up the location a little bit with Bonilla. He's able to throw the ball hard, but Max is able to get a hold of it pretty good. Caught by Nadal. So a one, two, three inning recovery inning for Bonilla. He was very vulnerable in the first, despite not giving up anything. Looks much more solid there in the second. At the bottom of the second we go. The locked in Wilkinson already. A whole lot of spunk. Yeah, crazy through 11 pitches. A pitcher can be locked in, but quickly having some success. Fights it off, trying to go down the line, but no problem for Pickles. One down, here's Clutch Ribby, who got hurt in game number two very early in that game. Now back in action for game number three. Waves. Activates tough out. Fists it off. Center field coming in is Vance, but he can't make it. So a one out knock. A piece of hitting in on the hands. Yeah, nice shot by Ox to just fight it off. Get a runner on base. You never know what's going to happen uh, when you get that guy on. So, yeah, any way you can do it is fine. Two quick strikes on Nielsen. You can see that was what Ox wants back. See, that pitch was right down the tube from Max. And now Max takes a moment. A little swing happy here at the plate is Ox. He's defending with two strikes. Just pounding him inside is Max. Now Ox steps out. Does not bite the high fastball, low velocity. Wilkinson in a battle with Nielsen. Hitting 333 in this That's postseason, finally takes one of the inside pitches. That's a competitive out bat again. here. Another foul ball, this time hit harder. Very competitive. And it's going to be Wilkinson who wins the at bat. You're out. With a pop out to right field. Well, you could argue Nielsen won it with just how many pitches she drew. That was one of the longer ones you'll see. Yeah, especially in this game. You see a lot of early counts, a lot of quick first pitch swingers. Uh, especially, like I said, in the Super Mega Baseball. But, you know, to w work as many as Ox did there, it was probably seven, eight, nine pitches in that realm. Uh, and that's definitely going to burn a starter pretty good. Dad Slush goes down on two pitches. He swung at that curveball, grounded it to the left side. And did not beat out the throw, so that'll end the frame. Colby Wilkinson now. We'll see if anybody's able to hit a dinger with their pitcher. You know, in this game, last game had two. So we might not be due for a little while. That's uh, one of those crazy rare occurrences. Two quick balls outside. The outfield comes shallow, and it may not matter because Ox can't find the zone. And, oh, almost a four-pitch walk to the pitcher. Wilkinson now on 3-1, takes strike two. A wild fastball, full count, runs way inside, and he walks Wilkinson. Tough break to a pitcher who's already locked in. You can't be putting him on base and giving him more mojo. He may just get two, though. Only has to throw an extra pitch, and he does. And that's going to upgrade the mojo of his own pitcher. So he... Yeah, he helps out the mojo of his counterpart, but does get something out of it himself. There's Clutch Ribby, can't make the play, so Nielsen gets it back in. A two-out single for the Miami Knights. That ball was hit hard, but it was a close dive over there first by uh, Clutch Ribby. Cutter does not bite. 
This is Aspen Vance, a.k.a. Uh, we said his name only a hundred times, but I can't think of it off my head. It's going to be a 2 2 count to the center fielder. Really dangerous with that trait set up, but can't do anything if he doesn't swing the back. Got him looking there. We go into the bottom of the third. Yeah, beautiful fastball up and away sends us to the bottom of the third. This is the longest we've gone in this series without seeing a run. These guys couldn't stop scoring in the early innings. Games one and two. This is ripped into the gap. Unable to make the play is the right fielder. So Ox will have himself a leadoff extra base hit. Yeah, quickly got that runner on. Now let's see if he can do anything with it. Bobby Benia is locked in himself. He's got good stats. You can see Ox again camping locations in the zone that did him some favors in the last two games. And he's going to get himself another pitcher hit. Does he have the speed to get a pitcher RBI? However, no, he'll turn back. Zimmerman throws down, and here's that classic Ox box play, trying to get everyone safe, and he does. He just keeps doing it. That's one of those diddles that there's no one's ever done anything about it. There's there's really no way to stop it the way the mechanics work, and uh, you, you, if you've watched enough, you know. Ox baseball, you've you've seen it, and uh, he's whipped it out quite a few times in this series. Poor Max can't adapt. He's gonna get Schlongberry, a dangerous hitter, to softly line out to the shortstop. So an out with no advancement. It's just what Max wanted there. Now pitching to Ox MF Box, who has sorely underperformed in this series, hitting or in these playoffs, just hitting 269 and behind 02 again, expanding the zone. And he expands in a massive way. He may get a run out of it, though, and he will. He baits the throw to first, takes home, and it's an RBI strikeout? You, you just you don't see that. You just don't. Yeah, it's an interesting way to score in this game. The ball didn't get that far away from the catcher. Otherwise, at times you do see that, but that ball was like two feet from the catcher, and Ox with the legs just getting it done. An RBI strikeout with no wild pitch. Interesting and bizarre, but it gets the holograms their first run of the game, and they lead in the fourth. Now batting the right fielder, number 18. Locked big. in is Bobby Bonilla. It's a big power part of the order up for the Miami Knights. Ox needing to pick around the zone. Max has shown in this game already he's got a really good eye. One, two, got him to swing way inside a rare deep chase for Fireball Max. Gets Ox a strikeout on his 39th pitch of the afternoon at El Viejo. Of course, it's evening for us. Quickly 0-2 on Leg Strong, second baseman. Gives him the old wave and lives to tell the tale. Similar spot and a check swing. Not getting him to bite. This could be a perfect fastball. All the way, spoils a great pitch. The 2-2, two -two, another check swing and another full count. The payoff pitch, he got him. Back-to-back -back Ks. That was nicely worked by Ox to get the strikeout. It looked like it was going to be another one of those at-bats where we were getting foul ball after foul ball for a second. Softly hit to Schlongberry, it's no problem for her. So a one, two, three inning to the bottom of the fourth we go. Middle part of the order against Colby Wilkinson. It's a one nothing lead for the holograms, but just one ball that was really hard hit to the wall. This could be another hit though, and it is, fights it off. Yeah, nicely flipped out there. You love to see that when you, you get the opposite field shot right through that hole. So now Clutch Ribby looking to make the most of his start here in Game 3 after being injured for the vast majority of Game 2. Locked in is Colby Wilkinson. Yeah, you gotta wonder if a couple different junctures if Clutch Ribby's in that game instead of little strong legs would have... Would Game 2 have gone differently? I mean, they did both score 10 plus runs regardless of that fact. Right. He may have a run here as that's all the way to the wall, Vance. Going to huck it all the way over to third, or it's cut off by Pickles, but Ox has plenty of time to race around the bases. It's an RBI double for Clutch Ribby. That's a nice double, nice run. Got the runner 
out there still in scoring position too for Nielsen who's been having a great series that's a big rip right up the middle easily getting the fast runner on let's see if Max falls for the uh old one two this time just goes right for home yeah easier that time with the speed of Pon Nielsen so two in scoring position now still nobody out Ox seeing potentially seeing the low velo better here in this inning Wilkinson behind two and oh yeah, maybe Ox starting to settle in. Max is going to have to think about ways to get out quickly if that's the case. That slusher might have the highest batting average on this team in, the, in this postseason. Chops it to third. Throw comes home. Ox retreats. Does he have time? No. Great play from Max to snuff the runner. Clutch Ruby is just not fast. He got too far down the line. He could not get back. There go the runners. Holding the ball was Max. Ox will get back. Tough on that not to get any out. Uh, those runners just too fast. Fortunate for Ox in those moments. You can kind of get lucky and turn back once in a while. So great speed on first and second after the failed steal. The old Still Rapids. Right. Yes, the Still Rapids classic. Now two and one runners go again this time they will make it in as that pitch sailed quite high for ball three he may just put him on here no he delivers a strike to the left side runners are going they got a bit of a late jump but ox he will score three nothing and a runner on third so Unlike games one and two, the runs in this game have been kind of piecemealed together. And then the hardest hit ball of the inning, Dwayne, just came off the pitcher again. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that in this game. It, it, they, these two are just. It's all about working the mojo for your pitcher, I guess, at the plate. Everybody else can just do their own thing. Now, back to the top of the order, Schlongberry, she finds herself a single, passes the torch. Big opportunity here with some power. Vox can get a hold of one. This could blow this thing open very early. Strike one and chase him just a bit. Yeah, that's just what Max does not want as that one hit on a line on the nose right at Bozak. That ends the inning, fortunately, for him. Yeah, didn't get enough lift on a, on a contact swing. Outfield comes deep here for the catcher Zimmerman. Wild fastball just high. Bobby Bonilla has been great thus far. Had a shaky first inning. Has settled right in. Change up just below the zone. Get some waving. Big strikeout. That was a good strikeout. It was a great sequence. He's finding a few things that Max will swing at. Maybe kind of tailing in and out of the zone. So now Zesty Washington gives him the wave. Takes the strike. The cutter tails away. Trying to go up the middle. Stopped by Oxbox, but the eight hole has plenty of speed. An infield single. Now maybe Colby Wilkinson can help his own mojo. This time it's caught up by Schlongberry, and it's going to be a double play. Great turn from Ox. Wow. Unbelievable double play. Maybe the only way they get it is because it's the tense pitcher running with sub 30 speed. They just get him at second. It was, probably, it was closer at second than it was at first. They were both close, but big ending, ending double play. Gets the Holograms offense back out there looking to expand the lead. Wilkinson still going. Pitch number 65 just coming in there. Holographic Charizard leads off with a single. Contact swing approach there from Ox. Pays off. Sets the table for Clutch Ribby. I'm sorry, a whole lot of Spunk, who's one for two with a single. Two quick strikes. No, that's high. Tried to bait him with the high cheese. He did not chase. There goes the runner. Doesn't have the speed to play a diddle game here. He's going to try and get back. He's caught. Pickles applies the tag. The leadoff single erased just like that. So Fireball Max starting to wise up to some of Ox's base running games. He's got two quick outs. Yeah, the pick off there, big, and then a fly out right after. All of a sudden, you have two outs in the inning, and boom, then you have three. 
Oh, th those pickoffs make an inning really ridiculously quick sometimes. You feel like you got something brewing, all of a sudden you don't. So he ends up facing the minimum in that inning. Gets the offense back out there for the Miami Knights. Of course, a reminder, it is not the myth. That's the cross-platform glitch you see sometimes. It's the Miami Knights. Usually has a nice pink and teal color scheme, as you would expect. Yeah, 60th not. pitch from Bonilla is a single. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say he's not resurrecting the design, I believe it was last season, of uh, M. Bennings as the Mythicals. I think, right. With, I think, that exact uh, exact logo. Yeah, the one of the stock logos. There's, of course, the standard teams, and then there's, there's like, I want to say like 80 or so backup stock teams that you can get a pre-selected team from. And this one is gone. The doll leaps, but it's just over the pen. And on the board is Fireball Max. We have ourselves a ball game. 421, folks. Big shot from Vance. That's going to get Max into this game, cutting the lead in half. Right fielder, number 18. Top of the sixth, 4-2 to two is the score now. That removes the locked-in mojo from Bobby Bonilla. He follows it up with a rip up the middle. One out single. Tying run steps to the plate. Second baseman. Ox still Fireball Max can go yard with uh, any position in this lineup. I was going to say, just Ox still pitching okay. He's got to get a handle on this before it gets to be a little ridiculous. I, you know, it starts you know, losing the location a little bit. And when you have Velo like he has on Benilla, that's starting to diminish a little. A uh, player like Max is going to be able to get you know right underneath it and start hitting it around real hard. So he doesn't want to get knocked around the ballpark. And he is going to go to the pen here. Yeah, and he, he's, a, he's a, afforded the opportunities. Got a lot more... Got a lot deeper with his starter than he did in game two. Dad Slush makes this play. It's a back end, no advancement. But why you shook now? Specialist trade is active. RBI did a trade is active. It's, it looks like he's facing the pitcher, but as we've seen in this series, it may not matter a whole lot. Wow, that is a combo of negative traits right there. It's a lot of negated value. Gets the first strike of the count in there. Ox pausing. Perhaps felt some lag or something like that. Now resuming. Two on, two out. Facing Adeline Zimmerman. Adeline Zimmerman. There's that little fastball. He's liked that pitch. He gets him to chase, but it's foul. Outfield still shallow here. Just misses with a fastball. Runners could be going on the pitch. They are. Hammered up the middle. Getting it done. Even with the RBI dud trait. But the outfield shallow, Dwayne, that's going to prevent a run. Yeah, good play there by Ox to have them just, you know, close enough to prevent any runs. The runner has good speed at third, but not worth the challenge. Especially when you can hit like Max, you might as well lean on your eight-hole hitter here and try to get something fair down the line. That's going to be one, two runs, maybe three. Throw goes into third. He's safe and safe at second, but the game is tied. Charizard. Couldn't defend it down the line, and Max comes through. Why you shook is shook out there. He's tense. Outfield coming shallow again to the pitcher. Quickly two strikes. There's an inside fastball. Shatters his bat. And Box makes the play, but four come across for the myth. I'm sorry. How did I do that? The Knights. <laughs> We're in the bottom of the six, too. Like 4-4 four, four now. All of a sudden, this is a ball game. Uh, Ox is going to have to get back on his horse, try to find some ways to score. But the, the low velo, he was knocking it around, but it's kind of shut him down for a little bit. So Wilkinson still in this game. Ox, soft dribbler to Washington. That'll be Pon Nielsen retired in the sixth hole. Now add slush. Dad Slush getting a hold of one. Oxbox continues to hammer the ball with low power, and he fists it out of here. His, he retakes the lead, 5-4. He really got a hold of that. Nice reticle placement, great timing, pulled it. You really can't hit a ball better than that. If you had any power on that hitter, that ball would have went a long way, but instead it just breaks the tie regardless of the fact. No, 
Rafael Nadal now with one down, following the homer from Dad Slush. Nope, inside. Fighting off a curveball up and in. The velocity very low out of the hand of Wilkinson. Nadal trying to go to the right side, but Legstrong has the speed to get there just enough. Two down, why you shook to the plate. He has one inning so far. Hawk's going to try and go for another, it looks like. Yeah, he's already tense. Maybe he can fight out of it. Maybe he can hit himself another home run. Try and, you know, break that tense streak. That's outside. Checks on a pitch just below the zone, so 1 2 is the count. Towards third base, where Bomso has it. And she throws out the pitcher, so after the solo shot by Dad Slush, the inning goes quietly, but the holograms retake the lead late. We're into the seventh. The left fielder, number two. <laughs> Big spot for Ox to make a statement in this game, try to get control of it. Shook is tense, but he's leaving him in there. Top of the seventh, no outs right now against Bozak. Strategy pause here for Ox. Looked at the lineup now. Gets ready to attack. Fighting it off is Max. Oh, just over the glove. Deflecting, rather, off of Schlongberry's glove. Had an 80% chance to make the catch, but did not. So it's a leadoff single. I guess an infield single, you'd call it. Yeah, the player coming up behind so is a... Paltry three for three, so. Gotta watch Here's out. The first baseman, yeah, Pickles. Locked in, looking dangerous. 0 oh, 2 fastball just misses and he checks his swing. Good speed on it first. The low changeup. Could be two. Schlongberry flips. No, makes a tag. Smart play. I think they get him either way, but that's a double play and a big one. Yeah, cuts the other player out, cuts the throw out of the equation. Not a bad heads up moment there from Ox. Yeah, eliminates any awful RNG. Granted, the odds are pretty low in a play like that. Two balls, no strikes to Aspen Vance, center fielder. Now 3-0. Yeah, we've seen stranger events of RNG in, in more crucial spots in a ball game. So right. definitely any chance you can get to, to cut that out is, is huge. Just ask Wish. Ox looking for three straight fastballs to get out of an inning. That's exactly what he gets. Stretch time at El Viejo. It's a one-run lead. Fireball Max and his Miami Knights out hitting Ox by two, but down one. Colby Wilkinson is in this game still. Yeah, and saying how uh, Max has gone this deep with his starter, I think he just wants to keep running him into the ground, and maybe he's got that... That low velo is, you know, tougher to hit out, tougher to get a hold of, just overall type of thing going on. But we'll see if that does him any favors or if he goes to the pen soon. No, that's inside. No two count turns to three and two. Ox steps out for a moment, forcing the payoff pitch. Curveball in the zone, hammered foul. 93 pitches for Colby Wilkinson. He surrendered five runs through six innings, trying to get. He's six and a third done. There's Schlongberry down in right field. A leadoff single. That ball's hit hard, puts a fast runner on first. The tense ox box. He's not quite lived up to his attributes. He's a lot of attributes in this playoffs, in, the, in this postseason. Here's Alejandro Chavez. We saw him, of course, under a different name. This will go effectively as a sacrifice. So, Sean Berry is up to second base. Yeah, I thought Ox might be, you know, thinking more about going with the runner to second base before just swinging away in the AB, but quickly he gets in that fielder's choice. Ball, that's low. Holographic Charizard. Oh, the ball sails into center field, and it gets past the center fielder. An absolute gift run as Schlongberry can run for days. What a breakdown by the defense of the Miami Knights, but really not a lot Rex could have done. No, not a lot that we, we could have done there, I think, yeah. 
But what is with the center fielders in this series and just missing the baseball? I mean, that's the third or fourth yeah. time on either side that we've just seen. It seems like the guy just refuses to want to pick a ball up, or maybe he's just not taking quite the right angle to it. But, you know, another run given away. Now Ox looking a little bit better. And that one bounces in front of Washington. He goes for a great dive, but can't quite line it up correctly. Actually, it looked like I think it bounced behind him. I think he overran it. I'm seeing the replay here. Yeah, that looked like it bounced off his ankles. It's going to be a bloop single here in the bottom of the seventh. Ox, of course, looking for as many as he can find facing this terrifying offense of the Miami Knights. And he's going to get another here as that's all the way to the wall. Playing it well. Ox may not have the speed to get around, so I spoke too soon. He'll hold it second and third. A double by a whole lot of spunk. Brings up clutch ribby, switch hitter. On a hop, that'll be an RBI ground out. Seven to four is your score. Yeah, quickly producing a run there is Ox with the slow portion of his order. Now got the guy 90 feet away for Pond Nielsen and the speedsters all start to come up. It's kind of the way he's got his lineup set. Third out of the bottom of the seventh is recorded, but two come across in two very different ways. Three runs is the deficit for Fireball Max. Still facing the specialist, Why You Shook. Ox getting more value, I think, this game out of his bullpen than in the previous games, more length at least. Wyatt Longbottom, the RBI man cleanup hitter. Three and one, a hittable fastball, a thousand away. And Specialist is doing its job right now, perhaps, you know, in the different, with the different stats. Last game, uh, Max is hitting that ball well, but he's just not getting a hold of these. Makes the catch for out number one. Why you shook, still dealing out there. Inside. Checks on ball one. A wild fastball runs way inside. And he will flip it over the head of Clutch Ribby. This could be two. Nielsen got there quickly. Throw into second. Could be close. No, he's safe. It's a one out double. Nicely played by Ox to challenge him with the throw, but he's got himself that one out double does max, and he could jump back right into this if he plays this the right way. Oh, a fielding error is no one can get there. It split the gap pretty well anyway, but that is going to be an RBI double, back-to-back -back doubles for the Miami Knights. It's seven to five. That's just what Max needed to kind of get his ball rolling. He's still fighting against the specialist. He's fighting through it too, I think, yeah. on that last at bat to uh, get the two bagger. He's got to do it once again with Zimmerman here. A couple curveballs result in a 1-1 count. Goes after the changeup, Oxbox. Softly through to first. He was committed to getting the sure out. Max retreated regardless. Gives himself another chance here with two outs against Wayu Shook. He may just come out. He is due up third next inning. Could see a double switch. He already has 40 pitches. Yeah, this is a long outing. Out of the pen in a playoff game, but... Still protecting a two-run lead, facing Zesty Washington. Two quick strikes. That's up. Doesn't bite on the chase pitch. No. Count runs even. 2-2, two, two, a changeup. Foul the way. Go to bat here. He's oh, he puts in... Puts in cat jam, activates K-Man, quickly goes with the fastball, and he beats Max. He got him. I that's a tough <laughs> that's a tough move. I mean, he goes he goes right after him with the one pitch doomsayer. And uh, gets out of the jam. Should it be allowed? I don't know. Is it allowed? Absolutely. So Ox getting it done there. It's the uh, it's the classic. Uh, freebooters player in pennant race that brings in Steamboat himself. Yeah, right. This is going to drop in Ox. He, oh my goodness, another overrun, and he's going to get third. Yeah, we've had some fielding woes out there for the Miami Knights, and pretty much two to three of these games so far. This one, it seems to be affecting the most heavily. 
So now runner 90 feet away with blazing speed, a 1-1 count to Rafael Nadal, looking for insurance. After Miami Knights did a good job getting a run back in the previous inning, hammered up the middle, it's 8-5. That's a big rip there for Ox to get the insurance run. You know, he was gifted that runner on third, so all he really had to do was just get a hold of a quick swing and be productive. And now he's getting the runner to second base. He's going to try and keep that train moving. On the ground to the shortstop, hung up between second and third. The throw goes to second, and they will all be safe. I don't know, a bit of a mental lapse, I think. Uh, for Max there now, the dangerous situation gets even worse. Uh, the reliever tense, and he's got to deal with a lot of speed at third, uh, and, and the lineup turning over. Looking like he wants to pump the bat here, try and move the runners. Runner goes. Throw is going to go to first, so the runner gets to second. That's all Ox gets out of it. Max will take an out. The second and third for Ox and F box. Check swing, ball one. Alejandro Chavez, no accuracy here. And there is the big man delivering the shortstop at a big spot. We'll get two RBIs and get thrown out, possibly, unless he can execute another diddle. And oh, man. He will. It's just endless here for Oxbox. That one was like a quick, quick one-two step he did on those guys. That, that was absolutely insane. And then he goes and steals the bag. That's just insult to injury. Dribbled over to third, misses the tag, Charizard beats it out. Everything on the base pass that could go wrong for Fireball Max. We've seen it seemingly just in this inning, but really, Ox has been running wild all series. 11 to five, your score on another single. Yeah, he's really just going off here. The, all, everything's working for his offense. Everyone's running the way they're supposed to, and then the heavy hitters are getting them, hitting the ball hard around the ballpark like they're supposed to. That's that's the way this team is built. So the lead is six, the base is juiced. Uh, this has been a close game most of the way, but with one swing on Nielsen could just send us home. She's trying, she's bidding, it's deep. Caught at the track, everyone's gonna tag up. Throw goes into second, Ox. He'll get back to first. It'll be a long sack fly. Jeez, I thought we were rolling right into the slam right there. That was about a foot away. Bad slush up the middle. I mean, just feasting right now is Oxbox. It's 13 to 5. The winning run at first. Uh, by virtue of mercy, if he can find it. Rafael Nadal going to line out here. Just doesn't quite have the upper body strength to hammer that out. So six runs come across in a wild and wacky eighth inning. Oxbox three outs away from a 2 1 series advantage. Yeah, Max gonna pinch hit, try to get something going, but now he's staring at an eight-run deficit. That's a lot worse than the uh, two-run deficit he walked into that last inning with. Cat Jam threw one pitch when she came in in the eighth, got the strikeout now in the ninth. Or third pitch of her outing is deposited into center field for a leadoff single. Fireball Max has the offense to pull off a miracle. Ox gonna do everything he can, of course, with his... About, you know, his Von Aysen winning pitching this season. He's going to try and slam the door here. Three one fastball hammered dead center. Nadal plays it on a hop. So the first two have reached Miami Knights. Now yeah, Max clearly not done yet. He's the type of player you can never say he's finished until that third out is finally recorded. Three straight singles to open the ninth. And if there's if there's a path here for Max, it starts with creating doubt in the opponent's mind. Obviously, we don't know what Ox is thinking out there. He's thinking two, and he turns it. So starting to squash the hopes of the Miami Knights. He does get a run out of it, does Max. 13 to 6 your score. But one to go for the holograms. Yeah, you totally trade the run for two outs there, especially when you're about oh, to yeah. win a ball game, perhaps. K-Man trade is active. Inside fastball. Got him swinging. And the holograms take game three. 
Nicely played by Ox to just be dominant on the offensive front. Uh, nothing Max could really do to keep up. He did his, you know, fair share, a little bit of scoring, put up six runs. Uh, but it was not enough again. He got, he's got to stop hemorrhaging runs to Ox. I mean, it's it's tough. I know Ox has basically got the most balanced combo of pitching and hitting in the in the AAA right now. Uh, but we'll see if you know we saw him walk off game two. Will game four be be different for Max? Yeah, Ox really just marching out there in these late innings and just suffocating uh, Fireball Max, giving him no room uh, for error, no room to come back. And he takes game three. So game four, they're getting set up, folks. We're going to take another short break. Don't go anywhere. It'll be just a few minutes. We'll get them back to uh, Colonial Plaza, the home of the Miami Knights. Hopefully the uh, uniform and logo glitch resolves. That'd be nice. And we'll see game four coming right up. Here we go. Wasting no time. Colonial Plaza game for the XBL AAA semifinals. It's a best of seven. Played on 83 batting. Ego 90 pitching. This is the one seed, of course, Oxbox. The number five seed, Fireball Max. And we do have the correct team and players back. No more glitch. We, we love that. Yeah, this is going to be good. We got the full Miami Nice compliment here. Uh, so hopefully that brings, you know, with that, the offense and the excitement that we saw in the first two games from them. Last game got a little out of hand at the end for uh, Max in the pitching. So we'll see if he can tighten it up. He's got to jump back into the series and tie it if we want to, you know, a nice seven gamer. Ox thought about saying buckle up. Instead, he'll compliment the team like we have been. All right. it's a beautiful team. Simone Mastiff, game four starter. She's got... Average stats all the way around. Delivers ball one to start the first. Tina Schlongberry on a line caught by Wildly. Yeah, this one game four of our four game set for this series here tonight. First time, as we stated way earlier, I believe in the first cast tonight that we've ever casted four games from the same playoff series on the challenge one night. So getting some good headway into this one. And I believe tomorrow night we have it set up for... Uh, for our next AAA series to begin in games one and two, Mama Junjun and Finite, and perhaps the World Series as well in the XBL. Oh, look at that. Holograms with a hologram of their own. First base, or the runner running down the first baseline disappeared there for a moment. Simple ground out, however. That was an yeah. odd play. Two quick strikes to Charizard. Yeah, odd indeed. That's a, that's a glitch you see every now and then. Someone Mastiff looking for a quick one, two, three. She's not going to get it. There's Holographic Charizard extending the inning, and it rolls all the way to the wall. Outfielders in this series have had their troubles, to say the least. Yeah, the Miami Knights have, you know, especially in the past game or so, had a, a lot of, you know, issues pulling it together out there. Maybe, you know, they're not quite calling the ball maybe the depth perception's a little bit off so they gotta 
tighten up the play. You don't want to give up any free base runners, free bases, free runs, anything like that to a player like Ox, who has shown that, you, you know, you might play a close game with him, but uh, it, it can also get out of hand quickly. Tried to fight that off up the middle for the RBI single. Didn't quite get enough exit velocity on it, so it is a 1-3 put out. Ending the first, Devalvio Claire gets the start in game number four for the holograms. So it is, he does have two low velocity starters and two high velocity starters. Of course, here it will be low. Charizard. One down. Now batting the first baseman, number 11. Softly hit, right center field. Nielsen has to race. She reaches, makes the play. Two down. Any quick outs either team could get in this game are going to be a plus for them. Uh, the last few games, you know, all three games have been lengthy. Both players good at working at bats. Good one is the count. Fireball Max with Gavin Grimes to the cutter and just missed it, I think. He pops it up. And Devalvio Claire is a 1 2 3 inning. Pick things off the holograms on the mound. Yeah, here comes that five, six, seven for the holograms now coming up in the box. Clutch Ruby leading off with that that big power and then a lot of speed following him. But we've seen in the past few games the low the lower power players doing a ton of damage for the holograms. So that's exciting to see them come up here in game four. Two quick strikes. Ox getting pounded inside has to reach across the plate because he's he's got that reticle camped. That deflected off the first baseman, but the second baseman. Backing up makes a great play for out number one. I can't believe he got it in time. He beat him by like literally less than a step uh, to make that play. Oh, checking there is Paul Nielsen. Don't think he wanted to. Ox looks like he's signaling to us. If that is the case. Fights off that inside pitch for one out knock. Paul Nielsen aboard. Anytime you got speed like Nielsen's on the bases, that is a huge plus. Dad Slush hitting 500 in the playoffs. That's not a tiny sample either. He's played, he started most of these games. Had a home run and a triple last game. And an RBI single. Yeah, just absolutely balling for the holograms. Good speed on it first. Pitch from Mastiff. 3 1 is your count. Runner goes. Hidden run attempt, but he's going to pop it up. Center field. Going back at first. Now in and dropping it. Ox. Oh my goodness. The base running. It's a uh, double play. What? How was how that possible after the base running expertise on display in the first three games? I've never seen that actually. That was a complete meltdown. Uh, of both, play I, both I don't, players. I don't know what. <laughs> that All right. was bonkers. Well, it's a scoreless inning after the double play. Here's an out caught by Dad Slush. Don't use your bumpers, kids. That's all I got to say. Here's ball one to Bryant Farley. The 2 0 from Devalvio Eau Claire runs the count to 3 0, so having to deliver a strike here and does so with a curveball. Clocked by Max. Deep center field in the doll. He's got good speed. He catches it above his head for out number two. I mean, you just feel like nothing is guaranteed now once the ball goes into the outfield. <laughs> I'm like, will he catch it? It looks like it's, he's going to catch it, but will it be an inch over his head? I don't know. Will he refuse to catch it? Outfield is deep in this at bat. Those outfielders for the holograms can fly regardless. Damon yeah. Travis takes ball two. Two strike situation. Devalvio Claire dealing here. To the left side. Oxbox can't make the diving stop. Would have been a tough play in the hole, anyways. Max thinking about two as Ox was playing some games out there, but it'll go as a single. He's got power this time. This. Hitter, I'm actually able to flex a little bit. Got was 
had that RBI dot and the specialist against her last game that was really diminishing the stats. Unable to piece that cutter in the zone was Max, so that'll be a fly out on the infield to end the inning. Holograms back to the plate, Rafael Nadal first up. Checks his swing. Ball landed in a spot that he was camping. That one a bit inside. Ox turns on it, puts it up the middle. Lead off runner aboard. Nice hit from Ox to start the inning. Trying to maybe, you know, find a way to open the scoring. He's got the pitcher up, so I just feel like it's guaranteed that he's going to get, you know, a big hit here. Max thinking about the steal. He's holding the ball, trying to deter it. Pitch delivered. Devalvi Claire fouling it off. It'll reach the seats. One one chop just in front of the plate. Effectively a sacrifice bunt. Pitcher gets the job done. Runner moves up. Tina Schlongberry now. Granted her RBI dead trade is now active. We have seen Ox fight through it. He fights through it here. No, caught by underhanded, unassisted to second. And Ox, he can't make it back. Max turns the double play. Yeah, I thought that one was up the middle for sure too, but I didn't realize that shortstop was playing so close to the bag. Nice grab. Great job on assisted to take that over for the double play. So now Max gets his chance to hit against Claire. Popped up. Right center field, there's Nadal. Out number one is caught. There's Simone Mastiff. Outfield comes shallow as it has been for these pitcher at bats, but it's on the infield. Two down. Ox yeah. with a chance for his quickest inning of the night, I would think. I was going to say, the pace here really really quickened up from, I feel like, uh, the Miami Knights needs to try and wait for his pitch more and, and work these counts a little bit uh, like he was doing in the previous games. Very quick inning there. Ox the beneficiary of it. Valvio Claire dealing through three. The top of the fourth. Two, three, and four do up. Ox, now he's camping inside. You don't see a whole lot of this. Like you said, Astronaut's Coupon, the most famous for it. Jam Paladin liked to camp outside as well, I think. Now Ox camping in all kinds of different quadrants. Yeah, whatever he seems to be feeling, I guess. Uh, whatever works for him, as long as he can reach the baseball, he's been having success with it, especially. Some of these pitches have gone right into that happy zone, and he's crushed them, so. There's no real criticism to be had. It's just it's just a lot different than what we're used to seeing. Most people, you would have to say, definitely start in the middle. This That might be a new... Uh, new survey topic and a new gang for us to have to, uh, <laughs> to establish you know, reticle reticle placement gang pre yeah pre-placement a new gang war how's that sound curveball is going to catch the zone a whole lot of spunk chases a couple down and in so it's a two and two count simone mastiff delivers swing and a miss nicely played there nicely sequenced from max he's you know, so far, so good. We'll see if you can get through the meat of this order. Swinging aggressively is Ox. And he fouls it away. So clutch Ribby. He fights that one off, however, into left center field. Ox going first to third, and he'll make it. Clutch Ribby has to retreat. So runners at the corners, two down, Pawn Nielsen. That was a good single for Mox. You don't always got to crush the ball with your big power guys, and he sort of floats one out there to get on base, get the runner over to third, and let uh, Pawn Nielsen hit with two outs. Not good speed on the bases, low speed, but it's not going to matter here as Nielsen grounds out sharply to the second baseman. And another threat extinguished by Fireball Max and his pitcher Simone Mastiff. We're into the bottom of the fourth. So far, Ox locked in with Devalvi Claire. 1 0 checked on by Beckham Wolf. Goes after that change and wallops it into the corner on a hop. Dad Slush gets to it quickly. There will not be a play at second as he slides in there. It's a leadoff double. The Miami Knights looking to strike first. 
Yeah, that's only the second hit of the game for the Knights, so let's see if Max can build on that. A, a no-out double usually is something that can lead you to a, to a run or a run scoring, you know, big run scoring opportunity, so. He's got Grimes up, who's, who's I feel like it's been quiet for his, you know, his stature. Yeah. That uh, takes a change up there that just missed high and away. Not biting is Max. So a fastball inside, and he checks. So it'll be a walk. First and second, nobody out. Ox looking for a ground ball. Max looking for something deep. It's that RBI man again who's been crushing tonight. Kobe special. Checks his swing. Three and one the count. Ox has to deliver a strike, and he does. It's hammered, it's deep, and it's a three-run bomb for Kobe Special. Huge for the Knights. Wow, what a laser. For a minute, I didn't think that was going to get over that high wall, but then it goes 440 feet. That's a no-doubter easily. Now, Bryant Farley looking to follow that up. It's a 3 nothing lead for the Miami Knights here in the fourth. The Valvio player was borderline perfect not completely but i've been pitching very well for the three-run shot here's a double yeah all of a sudden things getting a little bit out of hand here for uh for ox he's gonna try and push the starter through this probably got a feeling that she's due up soon but it's his uh and still no outs in the inning. This is a pretty bad um, jam to be yeah. in. The low velocity just not fooling Max anymore as it did in the first three innings. She is tense. Well, my woolmate has RBI dead as her negative trait. Ox just hoping to get a ground ball. But it's a rip up the middle. It's 4 nothing. There's still nobody out. That's something like six consecutive hits, possibly seven. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to have to do something here. He brings in the tense closer. Still lowish Vila. We'll see if that does him any favors or if it hurts him. Yeah, he's going to switch up the arm angle here. It's now coming from down low. But the count, two and one. Not biting is Colson underhanded. And he walks. The bases are loaded. All of a sudden, it's Max who has an opportunity to smash this thing open. He dribbles it. Schlongberry tags onto first. Smart play there. It's the second time in like 10 minutes we've seen that from her. Yeah. The run does come in to score. Yeah, trades the run for two outs there. Does Ox. Uh, you know, he's shown that he could score easily five runs if he can stay in the game and gives himself the opportunity. So. Uh, not bad to, to get the ground out afterwards and now get out of the inning. But a 5 run inning, not what you want to see if you're the holograms, especially if you're trying to go up 3-1. Yeah, what a job from Mystery Man Submarine to come in and, and prevent the blowout, honestly. That could have been much uglier instead. It's just 5. So uh, Fireball Max in the driver's seat regardless. And the preemptive sub is going to come out. Slush in the dollar. Oh, it looks like, you know what, I, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't either. I was like, is yeah. he like doing a backwards double switch? So Slush, after this at bat, is coming out of the game. Is that, is that what I just saw? Correct. And then the other guy's okay. going to stay in the game in the pitcher spot. So it is like huh. a double switch. He's just setting it up kind of like in a right. reverse fashion. Huh, I've never seen that. Me either. I see something new every day. So I believe it was little strong legs who will stay in the game. So Slush now out. Rafael Nadal ahead two and one. Simone Mastiff, five hits surrendered. No big damage. Nadal up the middle. There's a one out knock in front of strong legs. That was hit hard. Ox has been hitting the ball hard with all of his low power hitters. Number 25. So here is Strong Legs, who has not been too effective in these playoffs, but that could change on a dime. And it'll change here as he follows up the single with one of his own, one on, two out. Nice piece of hitting quickly to just float it over the top. 
And now to flip over the uh, the rest of the order, this is big for um, for Oxbox trying to jump back into it, but then quickly flying out. That's not what you want. So it's going to be about you know working the AB and trying to find his pitch here. Yeah, so it's Schlongberry flies out, two on, two out. First pitch swinging, and it's a line out softly to the second baseman. The threat extinguished. We're into the bottom of the fifth. Here is Ox trying to replace uh, Dad Slush now as the pinch hitter stays in the game. A little strong legs. Will be why you shook. Quickly 0-2, Shook working very fast. Uh, fast ball down and in, he takes. So Max working the count, he run, works it even, he swings and misses. Strike out there for Wayu Shook, who has been a positive in this series for the holograms. Yeah, I mean, aside from hitting the home run too, when you're, you know, yeah. you're batting as the reliever, that's, uh, that's just one plus. He's pitched great in this series. You can see Ox making a deliberate effort to pitch quickly here. He's going to deliver, tried to deliver another inside fastball, but it just ran wild. 2-2. Two, two. Got him looking. Back-to-back -back Ks for YU Shook. Looking to be as efficient as he can, coming in a little bit earlier than he had to in game three. No problem for the shortstop box. Throws on to first, and it's a quick one, two, three inning for YU Shook. Oxbox out hitting Fireball Max by one hit, but down five. Yeah, that's an interesting yeah, conundrum to find yourself in. Uh, really, this has been all about how Max has been able to get out of the jam and and keep on plugging with the pitchers. I mean, Mastiff is having a great start so far, which is something that can't be said for the rest of the Knights uh, pitching staff. So. Yeah, just so far, game four, really all in his favor. So much like inning number five, Ox is going to start inning number six with a leadoff single. This time it's Charizard. Brings up a whole lot of spunk, hitting 4-19. Simone Mastiff still in this game. Four-pitch mix. Ox still very, very aggressive. Goes after the fastball. And cannot get it over underhanded. That was pixel perfect from Fireball Max to leap and catch it. One down. So one out in the sixth. Hammered dead center. Trying to get it down, but caught by Grimes. And the throw goes into second. Otherwise, he may have a double play. Yeah, I don't know if he would have had him or not. It's close. That runner was not fast going back to first. And that's, you know, huge key. I'd have to double check the arm on Grimes again too, but you know, a player like that, you know, should easily be able to get two, I think, on that. Unable to lift that curveball uh, in fair territory is Pawn Nielsen, so foul the way. And a 2 1 fastball just catches the zone. Mastiff delivers, gets him waving. Ox strikes out, and it's Fireball Max dealing here through six. Yeah, that's is the biggest stretch of, of good pitching that we've seen throughout the series from either team. So we really hope to see it continue. Uh, you know, I mean, if you're a holograms fan, you don't hope it continues. You want to see your team score some runs. But Max, uh, after the amount of runs he's given up in the past few games, this has got to be feeling really good for him. Get some frozen there on the fastball. So why you shook racking up some strikeouts with the five run deficit. As we get into the latter part of this game, bottom of the stick. And this. Locked in is why you show up. This could be a perfect pass. Oh my goodness. How do you take that? One pulls it. And a miss. Pulls him inside. Nice sequencing there to get, get him uh, out there. And uh, now he's got quickly two down. While you shook, the specialist doing his job. That 1.69 ERA in the playoffs is just something else, showing that Ox really can rely on him. And now with 19 strikeouts. Sounds like there may be difficulty with my mic. It kind of like came and went. Okay, well, press on for the time being. Of course, always welcome to let us know if something's awry. 
If it isn't fixed, just okay, it's good again. Glad to hear it. Thank you, Pizza. Why you shook staying in this game and why not? He's been dominant. On both sides of the plate. That was a big check swing. I think that was one that uh he went back as the big hitter that he is, and he gets a hold of one that was a little bit out of the zone. Maybe if he had had that pitch before, I don't know what could have been. Why you shook the power hitter. So now Rafael Nadal in the eight hole with strong legs on deck. He's going to try and set the table here. Nice single up the middle for the holograms. Looks like that knocked down the mojo for Simone Mastiff. Oh, no, it's an injury. I, I misread it. That's another injury in this game for the holograms. This time it's the center fielder, Nadal. Wishbone, wishbone runs. Sorry, bone runs. Has to come into the game. He has good speed. Wishbone runs. Getting the out at first. And the prudent play by Max to go for the tag. I think a lot of players would have instinctively just thrown to second. But he knew it was a tag play. He gets the double play. And that ends the speed. Top of the seven. Is that why people stand there like that? I don't know why people do that. I think it's a frustration move. Ah. But, uh... I don't know that maybe one for Ox to clarify later, but in any case, it's a double play. So, uh, we just had the stretch here at Colonial Plaza, hammer to Schlongberry, one down. Max has been hitting the ball all hard all game four, so really it's been all him. Now he's going to think about lifting Mastiff. She's had a great game, but, you know, maybe he doesn't want to push his luck. He knows how close, um, you know, five runs is against a hitter like Ox. I think this is a decision that's going to please Oxbox. He just could.